There is a big hole in my living room. Let's go around here. So Jess and I rent this place here in central Auckland. The older the building, the more problems you have. The hot water cylinder was a particular problem here. The, the cylinder, the old one, was running out of water. Then we couldn't wash the dishes if we both had a shower. Yeah, anyway, we got a new one now. Now before we talk about this door, this video is sponsored by Squarespace. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform to build your online presence and run your business. We'll talk more about that further into the episode. Back to the door. So the problem was the door was too skinny for the hot water cylinder that was in the cupboard. The old one was about as old as this building. I think this building was built in the 60s. So the plan today is to get a new door on that opening. So my original plan was to build the door here, but uh, this weather isn't on my side today. <laughs> Let's go to the container. Let's make a door. I can't open the door. I've got a problem. All right, this, this wasn't part of the plan. This is my van remote. And that is the sound of my van not making a sound. That, that isn't a sound because this remote isn't working. And the door is in there. Along with the door jams, hinges, everything's in the van. Don't worry, I'm here to save the day. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you would, Jess. Well, let's, let's not jinx it. It didn't work. The light goes on though, could that be the van maybe? <sighs> this isn't working out. What are the chances that both remotes have flat batteries? So I'm gonna see if I can swap the batteries around. All right, so we've got new batteries. They're still not opening. Anyway, AA road service is on their way. Thanks for helping me with the alarm. Oh my God. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> we have access. Thank you, Jess. <laughs> Appreciate it. <laughs> All right, we got access. We have access. I mean, I can't drive my van, it's completely immobilized, but we have access. Alarm guide's on his way. So there's an alarm code that I do not have to uh, disarm the alarm when you um, when this happens, basically. So the guy's trying to work his way around that. 
I mean, I appreciate that I've got my door, but man, today has not gone to plan. We have a door on a door jam, pre-hung, well hung. Now we just gotta fit it. I'll explain this when we install it. And I just heard the van start, so that is a promising development. New alarm. New alarm, unfortunately. Well, that was unfortunate. Um, basically, the alarm isn't working now. Uh, he managed to get the serial number and get the code in order to get the immobilizer off and get the car started. But I basically have to start it with a code every time. It's something to do with a remote receiver on the alarm. Anyway, long story short, I need a new alarm. That might have been stressful trying to make a door while my car alarm broke. But you know what isn't stressful? Building your website with Squarespace. We use Squarespace for our website and we find it really easy to use. As a small business, we don't have a massive budget and endless time to build a website, so Squarespace works perfectly for us. Buying a domain from Squarespace is simple because there are no hidden fees or price hikes. All websites are optimized for mobile, which is pretty important considering how often I use this. And if you have a product to sell, Squarespace automatically keeps your infantry and sales data in sync with your online store. If you're like us, here at Scott Brown Carpentry and you want to keep it simple, head to squarespace.com. When you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com forward slash Scott Brown Carpentry for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That helps the channel. And um, if you need a website, that helps you as well. Let's hang a door, shall we? So the first thing we do is we identify the hinge side of the door, which in this case is gonna be this side. And we check for level. Now, one thing I did just before is I marked the hinge locations. And there's one there, there's one there, and there's one there. Doesn't really matter, it's different for every door. But that's where I'm gonna pack it because I wanna be able to screw in around about where the hinge is, because that's where all the strength of the door is. And I just uh, sellotape them on for the time being. When I screw the door jam on, that will hold it permanently. So there's three packers. We're having a difficult lighting situation here, Jess, so... Problem solved. Am I illuminated? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Now what I do, and what they usually do when you buy pre-hung doors, is they put a screw in the non-hinge side, the latch side. And they put that screw in there to stop the door flying around. So I've done the same thing. So you always gotta remember to take those screws out before you put it in the doorway. Oh, we've got no lights anymore. Huh. Oh, I have to Guess we'll never get them back. <laughs> so turn the yellow light on. Do I look like an orange? My packers should be where the hinges are. And I can just screw straight through there. Do one screw at each hinge to start with. All right, that's the bottom. All right, now that I know the height is A-OK, -okay, I put a screw on the other side and I'm just gonna pull the jam hard flush with the jib on this side. That's pretty good there. And again, I've just got to pack wherever I'm screwing. And the way you tell how much you need to pack it is by looking at the gap between the door and the door jam. And you just want an even gap, basically. All right, before we chuck the door stops on, this here, this hole, I basically made this door line up with the bottom of the hot water cylinder, so if you need to get to it, you just open the door, there you are. But in the very unlikely scenario that the plumber needs to get under the hot water cylinder to this valve here that changes the pressure system, he can move this panel that I'm about to cut. So the panel is fixed, you just need to unscrew it, and the door is the door. You just need to open it. It's uh, a special order getting a full length door, and past two meters they tend to get a little bit 
I start doing that, so that's why I've separated it. I'm gonna have to do my best here to go outside in the rain and trim the screws for the door handle. They have these little cut slots in them. And I've also got to cut that panel for the bottom and we're gonna do it in the rain. There you go guys, got a little magnet here, architrave, paint that the same as that and then they'll match and that goes right down to the ground with a little lift out panel if you ever need to get into that pipe area but I think that's fine and it's helping with the noise, well you can still hear the tap but you know what I mean. So I've got filler and paint and all that kind of stuff and I'm gonna seal that and then make sure that it's all the same color. And now I don't have a hole in my living room. Thanks for watching this exciting episode. Catch you in the next one.